Greetings, Christos Conscious Beings of Eternal Light, Eternal Life. Happy International Women's Day to all you divine goddesses out there. Keep shining your lights brightly into the night and speaking your truth from your heart, walking your sacred path with full courage and full activation. We start with this powerful mantra. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the immaculate concept of life. I am the way, the truth, and the light. I am that I am. The great cosmic mother is with us now. Feel her sacred embrace, her warmth, her compassion, her love. We had another powerful day of activations downloads and upgrades of our DNA. We felt this in many different ways through these great, powerful ascension manifestations. Today we uploaded day 28 of our 33 day of discourses of the I Am Presence on our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. So if you're part of our team there, be sure to check that out. 222 coming in. Many powerful activations and energies flowing in the field right now. My sacred condor and I had several omen synchronicities manifestations from the wing nation today. Beginning with this morning, my queen witnessed a white dove flying straight up into the air, a morning dove. Then this afternoon as we were speaking over her shoulder, 144 coming in, Sitting in the tree outside the window was a beautiful gray falcon. And as I walked into the room, we have sliding glass doors on this balcony. There is a little bird sitting right by the glass. As I walked up to take a look to see if she was hurt, she flew to the west. The falcon also flew to the west. And then all day, Walela, the hummingbird, come to us. And today our Divine Bro Star of the Light, Mauta Taki of the Kahuna Nation of Lemuria, performed the Hummingbird Stargate 17 ceremony in Bolivia, Lake Titicaca, which we'll cover here in our transmission today. So many synchronicities and codes coming in, we can barely keep up with them all. That is why we ask all of you to share your experiences with these synchronicities and activations and downloads. These assist all of our team and all realms. This is recorded in the Akash, and we are all being watched by our galactic teams and our higher dimensional guides and higher selves here now. And with the celebration of International Women's Day and the Cosmic Great Mother fully activated, fully rising up, we are ascending and Gaia is with us every step of the way, Pachamama. The left hand, the divine feminine path, Kundalini, the right, divine masculine Kundalini as they come together in the center, forming the great spiral, like the sacred DNA rising up through the Katika channel, touching all twelve chakras through the 12 strand crystalline Christos DNA being fully activated from the golden cities of the golden central sun, which we are witnessing the emanations coming through our sun, which is a reflection of the great central sun within yourself, the kingdom of heaven within, and that is the way, the truth, and the life through the I am presence that is God in action here now. We know you feel it now, coming in, flowing in freely, as every conscious being's I am presence, every living being is being activated in the awareness, the pure awareness of the I am that is flowing in now, with our ascended team assisting us and guiding us in all dimensions. We had powerful energies coming in on the Schumann resonance after Many hours of blackout, we had 24 and 38 hertz amplitude with a white blast of light to the green and the red, and then another blackout sequence, so we're fluctuating in between time and space. It is the quanta, the fluctuation, the pulse from emptiness to form, from form to emptiness, 
as our sacred vessels and our consciousness, our awareness, our perception is being prepared for this quantum leap of consciousness through the unity solar gates from homo sapien to homo luminous beings of light rainbow body activation through the i am presence of the collective consciousness of humanity in this realm here now this is why we came this is our mission to rise up through these ascending energies through the levity of these activations and be prepared for this powerful ceremony on the 11th on Thursday which is called Maha Shiva Ratri the Ma the divine water the feminine the Ha which is the ascending energy the Shiva which is God in manifestation divine masculine the Maha Shiva the Ra the sun the tree the trinity the trident so we have the water and the fire coming together. This is the night when Shiva performs his heavenly dance. It is also the night of marriage between Shiva and Parvati, which is an emanation of the divine feminine Shakti. This is Heros Gamo. So many people are going to be activated in the divine union, in the Heros Gamos, the Christos Magdalene, the Shiva, the Shakti, through this powerful night, this powerful day on this Thursday, the 11th, the Maha Shiva Ratri. Feel into that energy and you can dance into the night, the sacred dance of love, of truth, of harmony, the symphony of the spheres being activated within you now. And now we transmit a quick update from Divine Sister of Light, S.A. Smith. Energies are making their way into our atmosphere, bringing in many strong ascension symptoms with them. Big energies are rolling in in this now moment. These ascension symptoms that are flowing with these energies include, but are not limited to, full body shakes, limb pain, scratchy eyes, head pressure, ears ringing, strange floaty feeling, extreme fatigue, phantom pain, strange cravings, Rest as you can allows these to work through your system. We are getting hit daily with larger and larger energies. It only makes sense you're going to feel them more intensely from time to time. Much love and light from a girl in the universe.com. So beloved beings of light through these intense energies, just keep going through and through and through. We are on the precipice, on the verge of this great breakthrough we call compression breakthrough. As the sine wave returns as a square into its center, we spiral in closer and closer to the singularity, to the zero point, as we break through this infinite point of infinite density, which is the singularity, the sing zero point energy at the center of your being. It is the central sun that expanded out into the infinite multidimensional universe and returns back to source through the spiral through the vortex that we're all feeling now. So just feel your way, keep going through and through, and let go as best as we can as we anchor in these highest codes, these highest energies for this final 3D mission as we bring in the 5D energies fully. This is day 70 of anchoring in the new earth energies, so feel our way through every portal, every gateway, every doorway into the one still center of the I am presence, pure awareness. Okay, we look at the last 24 hours of earthquakes. We had one, one, four, 114 M1.5 or greater, the most powerful again today on the Ring of Fire with a 5.5 in Indonesia. Many more activations today in the Kermadec Islands with 4.8, 5.4. Chile, 5.2. New Zealand again today, 4.9 with the 13 of the Divine Feminine, Divine Goddess. 4.2 in Chile in the Sacred Andes Mountains, the Kundalini Pachamama with a 4.2. Alaska, 3.3. 3. Russia, 4.4. 4. Japan, 4.6. Another 4.9 in the Kermadec Islands, just south of the Tropic of Capricorn, on the Ring of Fire, the Vine Goddess Fire Energies of Shakti, New Zealand 5.0, 5250, another 4.9 in Japan, Gulf Field, Nevada 3.2, 
Akita, Japan 4-6, Taiwan 4-6, the sacred portal of Afghanistan where the Trinity, the Trident, the Three Holy Mountains, Sacred Mountains, Tian Shan, Celestial Mountain, Kun Lun in the middle, Himalayan Lower Dantian in the root, with a 4.2, Vanuatu 4-6 on the Ring of Fire, 202 kilometers depth, Crete, Greece in the Sacred Portal, 4.8, 12 of the Divine Feminine, in the Gulf of Alaska in the Crown, 3.3, so again, the whole ring of fire lit up again today, activated, bringing in the goddess energies, divine feminine, the cosmic mother. Today we begin with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon at 27 degrees, 37 minutes. Capricorn, we have the 37 into the 73 of heaven on earth. Sun at 18 degrees, 47 minutes. Pisces, the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 28 degrees Capricorn, a large aviary. There we have the bird symbolism again. This planet is an aviary for our winged nations. Today, the Sabian symbol for the sun at 19 degrees Pisces, a master instructing his disciple. I am that I am. From astrologyweekly.com. And today, from our divine bro star of the Huna Nation, Kahuna Mauta Taki, 2044-88, Ceremony at Hummingbird, Stargate 17, Ceremony of the Infinite Fractal and the Continuum Codes, March 8, 2021, Login starts 4.04 p.m. Bolivia time. Set up your primary to the trinary stargates of planet Huna, and speak the highest intentions once you log in. Main purpose of the ceremony is to raise the angelic frequency of the stargate codes to Lemuria, both physical world and non-physical world, then seal it from interference of the low frequencies and low vibrations. Energy is authorized by the Council of the Continuum, signed off in agreement by over four billion star nations. The song of the twelve, Mo Tu, is appropriate if you have it otherwise your choice to complete. Enjoy this moment as we who stand on the ground at the stargate to lend our energy to your prayers and intentions, only of the highest possible outcomes of E4 equal MC2, House of Huna and the Temple of Light, welcomes you to Planet Huna, Age of Lemuria 5, from HOH.Earth. Today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Wendy Reynolds. Today begins an evolutionary leap across the Divine Divide as we bring together the mysterious force of presence within the calm, innocent opening space of awareness. We are called to uncover what has been hidden in us and bring it to life as the bridge to our essential nature. Within this holy field of everlasting peace, Eyes tuned by the heavenly guise of wisdom, radiant love, and magnetic presence. Declare that we are awake, and it is so. Declare the truth without uttering a word. Just breathe it into being with a deep and abiding smile of grace. Witness the unfolding blossoming of your silent call return with the multi myriad blessings and gifts that come without effort dropping like petals of light from the tree of omniscient beauty how much more can more be there is only your undying gratitude for this moment that extends infinitely in all ways of being i am grandmother ah lu sha ma who travels the waves of abiding love i am karina sha this is my offering to you now may all beings rise and arise as they arrive at the home of the eternal heart. Aho! And from Divine Bro, Star of the Light, Pars Kute, time to be ready now. Let's be ready, because we are coming near the finish line. We are coming near the end of this part of our mission and moving closer and closer to those grand announcements that have been spoken of, that have been held back somewhat, but they are in process right now of coming forward and being revealed. Exactly the moment cannot be given. Exactly what will be said cannot be said at this point. But it is imminent, even to our inner standing of what imminent means. So let's be ready. Let's be ready and be in joy in the moment now. And we connect and continue to connect with the higher God Self, I Am Presence, in each and every one of us. 
for it is here now in this moment what a wondrous glorious and loving now it is with sacred love of one pars coute and today from divine sister of the light carolyn servant of yahweh today's waning crescent moon is supporting yahweh's sickle removal of the wickedness from his covenant family bloodline joel three thirteen put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe come get you down for the press is full the fats overflow for their wickedness is great this is directly affecting the physical body the heart lungs thymus glands rectum liver and root chakra as removal completes itself the new breastplate of righteousness is being placed over the flesh as part of the remuneration of christ that is coming our way ephesians six thirteen wherefore take unto you the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand fourteen stand therefore having your loins girt with the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness fifteen and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace we are witnessing the collapse of the monarch crown financial systems and government reserves god has ensured your freedom today that will reward us with financial remuneration as the truth to the collective is exposed the sickle also supports all holy grail unions as the divine masculine christ are being cleared of the disillusions that block them from seeing the divine feminine christ clearly aries season twenty twenty one completes the removal of spells and witch hunts which ascends the divine masculine christ into holy grail king counterparts it is becoming more clear to them daily that their emotional needs and happiness are being fulfilled through their divine feminine christ holy grail unions are ascending into master class of milk and honey unions the divine masculine christ are receiving their scorpion template of the being anointed with the armor of god so they are safe and protected to give and receive unconditional love the divine feminine christ are evolving into the queen bee union of the holy grail naturally outputting creation and psychic phenomena victory is ours no thing and no one can stop this divine creation in heaven on earth and everywhere in between through our efforts we have achieved mastery over the devil for the sisterhood of the rose and the divine feminine christ from the seed point of the enemy's creation nothing can stop us ever again those timelines are over the end we are transitioning into our birthrights now march twenty twenty one equinox fully supports us moving into the new timeline of blossoming abundance and overflow of our grail cup this includes divine feminine christ leadership in all ways happy woman's day grail sisters it's our turn now raptured dna raptured mind raptured body raptured heart raptured soul you are becoming one with the creator from carolyn kundalini twin flames and now i'd like to transmit the card that my sacred condor pulled for all of you from your path through the enchanted forest from lunea weatherstone the card she pulled for all of you today is seeker of boons which is the seeker of boons has set out on a treasure hunt to a part of the forest where rumor has it precious gemstones can be found she takes her time searching carefully and methodically her quests are well planned and she always wears her trusty belt of tools and good stout boots the ground here is thick with gnarled roots so she needs to move slowly but that's what she likes best anyway if this card doesn't represent a particular person it can mean a need to slow down and pay attention to details lest you miss something important it can also offer reassurance that even though a desired outcome hasn't arrived yet you're on the right track character traits good humor steadiness dependability practical and patient earthy adventurous in a modest way shadow traits a warrior takes on too much hard to roust out of habits can be a bit plodding and now from divine sister like karen lithica evolution of humanity 2021 the arcturians we invite you to a vibrational light journey to clarify the concept of your species in the year 2021 
To understand your physical form was molded to suit the constraints of your construct. Now 2021, the light elevation years, the evolution of a new physical light body format. To see each month like a unique pocket of higher light time, encoded with unique higher light capabilities and upgrades, simply meaning your physical body is not constrained like before, as your higher light mission comes into place, meaning your light body is rapidly attuning and expanding with the higher light consciousness of your reality. Know your true diversity lies within your unique, crystalline light signature. For we see the great light diversity of your species, a collective symphony of light of many light beings now in your reality. Like unique firefly species distributed throughout your world, each uniquely amplifying their unique light code, we ask you to resonate with the origins of your light body. Understand the ancient alignment for you to reach this now moment, Connect to your divine source code, the true essence of you. Know the true unfoldment of your world lies within you, as each month opens a new multidimensional reality. Like a wave of unique lights, know we see each of you shining brightly, amplifying your light, radiating light evolution. Know we are with you, every one of you, in global and galactic unity, the Arcturians and Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel. Immensely powerful energies and changes are flooding in, and this will escalate as we are being lifted in ever higher vibrational frequency bands. So much is disintegrating and dissolving, and these will become evident in intimate relationships as some will now dissolve as the old negative karmic patterns have been lifted, and thus a soul contracts were fulfilled not only intimate relationships, but indeed all which was structured and formed, contracted in some form or another. Staying in the present moment is so important, so do not push, strive, or try to plan ahead or push ahead. Words like have to, ought to, need to, in truth have no meaning now, as your own have to, ought to, need to may not be in the highest alignment of what you are being transformed into. The Divine Feminine has an important message for all of us today. The feminine aspect is receptive, and be open to receive gracefully and gratefully whatever the divine wishes to gift us with, and send upon our paths. Allow yourself to receive, just to receive what is there in divine outpouring and inpouring into us. As we are embracing a totally new life and new embodiment, we are being upgraded in ways we may not even be conscious of. I am experiencing this intensely as I was shown what is happening now and I will elaborate on this in my webinar this coming Saturday. By being receptive and open and living through our open heart space we will be guided and we will receive to the measure that we are open and ready to receive. If we are stressed out and getting ourselves in a frenzy, our energetic fields tend to get blocked and more than this our receptive centers. We cannot hear for hearing, we cannot see for seeing. We cannot know for knowing when we are quiet and still within and allow the energetic upgrades to pour into us and allow the unfolding of the divine gifts pouring into now by divine decree to manifest into form and being. Miracles will happen in and around us. We will be lifted into a totally new and much higher dimensional existence which we cannot even imagine right now. Affirmation. I am gratefully opening my heart and arms to receive gracefully all the abundant gifts and miracles the divine wishes to bestow upon me from judithkusel.com and today from divine sister of the light Adrian Elise Gaia Daily March 8th through 12th new possibilities we are being challenged in our inner landscape as Venus comes into exact square with the nodes of the moon this week this is bringing a feeling of being lost and insecure. This is because reality is shifting under our feet, and we must change too. We are being given an opportunity to step out of the nightmare and into the dream. It's a moment-to-moment -moment process where we must deliberately choose our reality. Everything wants to distract us from what really matters, peace and joy. This is our natural state, and yet everything in the nightmare movie works against this. We fulfill our spiritual purpose in these times by choosing a better vibration moment by moment. 
A shift of energy is finally possible as Mercury exits its retrograde shadow next weekend. This next week, Mercury moves over into the sign of Pisces as we try to figure out how to wrestle ourselves out from the lower matrix reality. It's about being willing to dream a new dream. If you have already chosen your highest timeline, why are you still down in the dumps? Venus and the Sun, coming closer as we head into the equinox, are saying it's time for a transformational rebirth. But in order to redream our life, we must first remake ourselves. With Venus and the Sun are coming up on Neptune, it's time to surrender to a higher love. Put down all that no longer serves you and be open to new possibilities. From AdrianElise.com And from Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology Mercury and Aquarius semi-sextile Neptune and Pisces. Sun and Pisces semi-sextile Jupiter and Aquarius. Dreams half-remembered linger long into the daylight hours. A half-forgotten song, an important revelation. It's on the tip of the tongue and yet it's gone. Today's aspects are somewhat slippery yet if we're willing to actively engage, big benefits are possible. Relax, focus on your joy. Keep an eye on the bigger picture. Self-belief is the key to progress. Stretch your idea of what you think is possible. Marry cold, hard logic with colorful imagination to breathe life into your vision. If you're troubled, send a love letter to your present self from your future self. Have faith in the person you are becoming. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times Kin 8-4 Yellow Rhythmic Seed Rhythmic is the name for the number six, and its keywords are equality, balance, and organize. The sixth day stresses the importance of walking that fine line, grounding yourself and checking that you are currently balanced. Take care of the practicalities no matter how mundane. Having our heads in the clouds all the time can lead to instability. Find your rhythm, and you'll be able to strut your stuff more effectively. Today is yellow seed, which represents awareness, targeting, and flowering. These days are great for sharing wisdom and planting seeds of knowledge with the intention of sowing awareness. As it is a rhythmic day, this combination suggests that we need to organize to sow awareness or that we must be aware that we need to find balance. The end result is flowering, or in other words, thriving. May you grow with wisdom today. The guide today is also yellow seed, and so a double helping of that energy. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina, Papa Giorgio, Yellow Red Mix Seed, Kin 84, 8 March 2021, Seeding, New Potential, 8 3 2021, equal 8 3 5, equal 8 8, equal 16, equal 7, 8 8, Infinite, Abundance Gate, 8 Abundance, Infinity, Source Flow, 3 Holy Trinity, Creativity, Communication, Joy, 5. Liberation, Change, Transformation, Freedom. 7. Magic, Mystical, Spiritual, Initiation. Kin 8, 4 equal 12 equal 3. Holy Trinity. An important day to start planting divine seeds that will grow into your legacy. Day 6 in the Blue Storm Wave Spell of Purification, Cleansing, Transformation, and Evolution. Today's focus is on transforming our physical reality through balance and equality to seed our highest potential, creating infinite abundance and flow. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm. Action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts. And what superb balance we see, very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Today is a day to focus in order to create balance and equality in your physical world. Expand your vision of what may be possible to see that so much more is possible beyond the realm of this illusionary existence. Today's question is what projects and ideas can I commence today that seed the new time, leading us to our endless bounty in the Garden of Eden? Divine blessings for the flourishing of your bountiful gardens. And La Kek a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 84, Yellow Rhythmic Seed. The mantra, the code for today is 
I organize in order to target. Balancing awareness, I seal the input of flowering. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day, beloved beings of light, let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com. I'd like to also take the time to thank everyone for your support through your pledges and donations. We rely on these pledges donations for our daily living expenses and for us to be able to keep bringing these daily transmissions to you and the world through this great ministry. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light Susan Eichler for raising your pledge on Patreon today. If you'd like to support our work and mission of the Eagle and Condor Legacy, our lineage, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. And if you're one of our patrons on our team, please be sure to check out today's transmission the 28th day of our 33 day of discourses of the I am presence. Now I'd like to also thank divine angel of the light Julian Wettach for your donation today. We also have a link in the description if you'd like to make a one-time donation to our work and our cause through PayPal. I'd like to also thank everyone for supporting my sacred condors art business on Etsy. She added several new goddess totems today, so be sure to go to lunagoddessart.com and check out these beautiful pieces of handmade art. She'll be adding some jewelry very soon. So thank you all very much. We are very grateful for all of you and your support. Now I'd like to end today's transmission from a powerful divine decree from Divine Sister of the Light Sandra Walter. I am my Christ itself, ever present and ever victorious, magnetizing divine creations into these realms. The power, presence, and action of miracles emanate from my shining, open heart center from ascensionpath.com. So I'd like to thank all of you for joining us on this great mission together of manifesting heaven on earth through our I am presence rising through the ascension process with all living beings. Keep shining your radiant threefold flame into this realm, connecting with all beings in all timelines, dimensions, living your sacred path with heart, being connected to all things in all realms, here now in the sacred temple of the great spirit, the great mystery. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.